All right, so today we are going to be showcasing the newly Extremes Awakened LR Goten and Trunks at Rainbow Status on the global side of the game. Now, before we get into the gameplay, I want to quickly go over their details. So if you guys happen to already know what they do, then feel free to skip ahead about a minute or so. Okay, so starting with their leader skill, it is Super AGL Types key plus 4, HP, Attack and Defense plus 120% or Extreme AGL Types key plus 3, HP, Attack and Defense plus 90%. Their 12 key super attack has a 50% chance to become uh, Skinny Gotenks and a 50% chance for Fat Gotenks. And as Fat Gotenks, they get Colossal Damage and raises defense by 30% for one turn. And as Skinny Gotenks, it is Colossal Damage and lowers own defense by 30% for one turn. And then their 18 key super has a 50% chance for Super Saiyan 1 Gotenks and a 50% chance for Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. And as Super Saiyan 1 Gotenks, it's mega colossal damage and raises defense by 30% for one turn. And Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, mega colossal damage and raises attack and defense by 50% for one turn. Their passive is raises defense, or sorry, uh, raises key between 5 to 10 randomly at the start of turn, attack and defense plus 150% when performing a super attack plus an additional attack plus 50% if it is an ultra super attack and medium chance of evading enemies attacks including super attacks. So there you have it, that is the Extreme Z Awakened LR Goten and Trunks. For the super attacks obviously you want the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks over the Super Saiyan 1 Gotenks for the 18 key. And then for the 12 key, you definitely want the Super Saiyan, or sorry, the uh, fat Gotenks over the skinny Gotenks. So, jumping in here, the uh, team we're running is Majin Buu Saga, but since the Goten and Trunks are also in the Gifted Warriors category, they will be getting 200% boosts from the double Majin Majitas and the event is the Legendary Vegeta event. So on this first rotation, we're linked up with one of their best linking partners, which is the SDR Goten and Trunks. And they're starting with 81,275 defense, which obviously is not impressive. It's not looking good, but keep in mind that these guys will only get defense after they super, so they're not a good slot one unit but in slot 2 or slot 3 they actually get very tanky as uh, you will see later on in this showcase so we'll put them in that first slot hopefully not get supered before we get a chance to attack but we'll see there we go okay so taking some good damage there 7.7k for a normal is not great against the base Vegeta but the attack stat is quite good 6.5, and as you can see, a big difference already. And we're taking a super for 107. So um, it's really night and day. It's really night and day, their defense, before they super and after they super. Before they super, they just suck defensively, let's be honest. But after, you're getting that 150% boost from their passive. And if you get these Super Saiyan 3 go tanks like we just got there, then that's additional. 50% from the super attack, right? So a lot of defense all around. That was pretty good. And um, I think I'm gonna take the tech Goten out of rotation here, just so we can get him to support the uh, LR Goten and Trunks later on. So here we go. Gonna get through this rotation, but first attack stat was 6.5, right? That's pretty good. That's, that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> Of course, I was expecting them to hit hard, but um, if they're doing that without any supports, I can only imagine what these guys will be doing once we get the Goten on their rotation. If we get a 24 key super, hopefully we get the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks transformation as well because that makes a big difference. Um, we should be seeing well over 7 mil, maybe even closer to 8. Possibly. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so back on this rotation, um, I will give the super to the LR Goten and Trunks. That's going to be 21 key. 
and it's a little bit worrying that we have two attacks before their super which could punish us hopefully not oh there's a dodge nice i like to see that but as you can see lots of damage right there for the normal 27k is is kind of crazy and uh we got the super saiyan one go tanks transformation there so instead of 6.5 mil like last time we got uh 5.9 was it so yeah that was about a half mil difference in attack stats so definitely a big difference between getting super saiyan one go tanks and super saiyan three go tanks okay so got the double Majin vegetas one of my favorite rotations in this game uh, let's just give these guys some orbs here. I guess it doesn't matter too much what we do here, but I still want to see these guys show out a little bit, so um, we'll probably kill the tech Super Vegeta here, most likely. But maybe not. Maybe not. Let me see. Yeah, he might actually survive this. He might survive this. He might not survive this, actually. <laughs> I might be wrong. If this crits, I think he's dead. Uh, if it doesn't crit, he's probably still dead because I think the Gohan at the end will finish him off. So, yeah. Oh, no, he did it. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Um, That's fine. That's fine. I'm going to give a full 24 key super to the Goten and Trunks. Once again, putting them in that first slot because... The Vegeta's almost dead, so I have to do that. Uh, luckily, we got a dodge there. Please dodge this too. Uh-oh. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so that was bad. <laughs> that was really bad. But it was worth it. Because we got almost 10 mil attack <laughs> on that turn. <laughs> with the Goten support. So, um... No regrets, man. No, no regrets. It's all good. Uh, should we pop the Majin Vegeta active skill right now? I'm gonna say no. I think I'm gonna I'm hold on to it. Uh, we'll probably use it later on in the showcase. But for now, let's keep the spotlight on the LR Goten and Trunks and the fact that they got almost 10 mil attack that turn. Almost, man. It was close. It was close. If we had gone a crit, that would have been the best case scenario, but, you know, um, you don't always get what you want, so it's fine. It's not a big deal. Next turn, we should be getting the Goten, or sorry, the uh, Gohan support. So, even though it's a little bit less attack, it should still be close. And luckily, we did get the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks transformation there, so, um, yeah, that was great. That was great. That might be the highest attack stat we see in this video, actually, now, now that I think about it, because... We got like the best support on this team, which is the Goten. We got the Super Saiyan 3 transformation, and we got 24k super. So, chances are we aren't gonna see anything higher, but this should be close. It should be like 9.3 or something like that. Let's see if my math is accurate. 9.4, yo! Almost, 9.4. And the good thing about the Extreme Z Awakening is that they made it a 50-50 split between, oh my god, that's a lot of damage, um, a 50-50 split between the Super Saiyan 1 and Super Saiyan 3 transformations, as opposed to before it was 70% chance to get Super Saiyan, um, Super Saiyan 1, and then a 30% chance for Super Saiyan 3, so it's much more rare to get Super Saiyan 3 which is obviously the more, more powerful form, right? So now it's 50-50, which means that every other turn, you should be getting that Super Saiyan 3 transformation. Um, is Goten gonna be okay at the end? I think I'll hold on to the item because I don't, yeah, I was gonna say, I don't expect that one attack at the end to be a super, so we should be fine. Um, Majin Vegeta took that very well, as you would expect, but, uh, yeah, I was worried for a second. I was like, yo, what if Goten got supered? He probably would get us killed. But we're safe. We're fine. So I'm gonna hold on to the items. I don't like using items. But I don't have to. Especially for a showcase like this. 
if it was like we're running a super bad road stage for the first time, then I probably will be, you know, more, like, you know, take the safer approach, but we're okay for now. We're okay for now. Anyways, um, some good numbers, guys. Some good numbers from the Goten and Trunks. Uh, I think now I'm going to put them in the second slot just because we don't really need to risk it anymore. So they're going to go in the middle. Uh, I don't believe any items are necessary. Should be okay. So let's give one orb to the SDR Goten and Trunks. I'm gonna give five to the Mighty Mask. And oh snap, we can't get a super here. Okay, anyways, let's get five key, I guess. Oh no! I didn't realize we were getting a token attack. Ah oh, snap! I hate when I do that in showcases. It's like you always want to give it. You always want to give it to the. Uh, the, the showcase unit, right? You always want to get that token attack on the unit that's getting showcased, but it was too risky, I guess, at the same time, because if I put the LR Goten and Trunks in that first slot and then Vegeta supered us, then it would have been probably game over, right? So that's the one complaint about this unit. Like, that's like the one knock I have against them, the fact that they're just not very good in the... Uh, first slot, right? So you, you don't really feel good about putting them there. You don't feel safe about putting them there, but otherwise they're amazing, you know, in all other aspects, in like all around, just a great, great Extreme Z Awakening. It's just the slot one thing that maybe bothers me a little bit, but well, not that much, honestly. Okay, so um, let me see. This guy's passive real quick, because I believe it's three orbs for guard. Oh no, it's six orbs for guard. Okay, so if I want him to guard against Thal, he's not going to, it looks like. Which is a bit of a problem. That's that's a little bit concerning. If we get supered, I don't feel great about this guy's defense. But I guess uh I guess I'll risk it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hopefully we don't die here. It's not looking great, guys. It's not looking great. Yo, I'm praying he does not super us here. Yep, yep, good. Good, okay, thank you. Um, oh, by the way, I just realized um, it looks like I'm drinking some black slash clear liquid it's just kind of weird it's because i have green apple in here okay and it's very very green and obviously we have the green screen going so um that that's why that's why this this cup is very strange at the moment but it's just regular gamer sub supplement so don't worry about it okay um i think we're fine here defensively I want to show you guys their defense, but I can't really because I can't like put, you know, this one, this guy here. That would be a disaster. So we got to keep the rotation as is. Um, but I do trust the STR goes in and trunks to be tanky enough to take all those attacks without an item. So there we go. And I think goes in and trunks, the uh, LR one, it's kind of confusing because we have two, right? The LR goes in and trunks will kill Vegeta with that super, which is going to be, once again, close to 10 mil. Unless we get the Super Saiyan 1 transformation, which would kind of suck, it should still be over 9 mil. Just, you know, less impressive. Alright, let's see here. Super Saiyan 1, 9.1. There we go. You can always tell, right? Because there's a big difference in the attack stat. And... Um, additional normal. Okay, so that turn could have been better. That turn could have been better. I got excited for for no reason, it feels like. But it's okay, it's all good. Um, I wonder how much damage this active skill would actually do. Let me just make sure I didn't turn them off. I did. Okay, so let's turn them back on. And let's pop one of them first. I'm kind of curious 
obviously we have type disadvantage, so I guess if it doesn't crit, then it would actually not do that much at all, right? The animation is still worth it though, <laughs> don't get me wrong. The animation alone makes this worth it. Oh my god, okay, yo, let's see this one more time. Let's see this one more time, it's, it's too good. It's too good. And this one should definitely finish him off, just because even if it doesn't crit, it's gonna do like enough damage to take off a third of like a HP bar he has left, right? So I'm just gonna enjoy this animation. Um, possibly my favorite animation in the entire game right now, gotta be honest. And oh wait, hold on a second. Did I say if it doesn't crit? It's a guaranteed crit, isn't it? It's a guaranteed crit. I'm dumb. <laughs> I forgot about that. I forgot about that. I'm pretty sure, I'm like 99% sure that Maja Majita's active skill is guaranteed to crit. So don't mind me guys, I'm just being dumb. I'm, I'm just being dumb. It's all good. Um, I'm coming to the realization now that uh, the the STR Ghost Hidden Trunks might be in some trouble. But there's no better place to put them. And I don't really want to put the Largo tenant trunks in the first slot either, but I think this makes more sense. There's three attacks in the middle, four in the first slot. So we just gotta do this, I guess. We have the Princess Snake active, so that should help. But um a super to either of these guys right now would be a bad time. Actually, it wouldn't be that bad if Go Tenant Trunks take a super now because we got a chance to attack now. So I actually hope that happens. Ooh, got the additional with the uh, skinny go tanks, which does decrease our defense a little bit. Uh oh, okay, I'm concerned about this right now, man. I'm actually kind of worried because if these kids take a super, their defense is good. Okay, so it might be Gohan that takes the super? In which case, um... It's pretty good defensively, so I'm not too concerned. Oh, wow, okay, so no super that turn. Not a one. Interesting. Okay, well, I mean, if that's how it's gonna be, then... I ain't complaining. <laughs> I'm not gonna complain about that. Okay, so... Um, this rotation is not really a worry at all. Any of these guys could take attacks. Um, we have two type of advantage units, and then of course the Int Maja Vegeta is a monster tank on his own. He doesn't really get a chance to tank here. But yeah, that's a good rotation all around. And uh, yeah, I think Goten would take a super just fine. His defense at this point should be over 200k. And with the type of advantage, we're good to go. Probably. <laughs> okay, let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see how much damage we take from a SSB Vegeta super attack here. And it is... Not bad. 180. Oh my goodness. Okay, so he lowers our defense, I'm pretty sure. Because that those normals after were crazy. <laughs> if there were more normals, I would have been really worried. Okay, so um let's pop another Princess Snake to be safe. I'm gonna put the uh STR go to the trunks in the first slot. And that's gonna be uh, yeah, damn, 24 key super, beautiful. And hopefully that's gonna do it. Hopefully that's gonna do it. Very nice. I mean, they're close to 300k defense, so... It shouldn't be a surprise. And yo, these kids are actually, like, f quite impressive. Um, I saw, like, a good amount of... I don't know if hate is the, the right word, but like I saw a good amount of criticism for the, the kids when the when they first came out with the Int Maja Vegeta. People are like, yo, they're, they're, they're kind of trash. 
but I don't think they are, man. I really don't think they are. They, they're, they're pretty impressive to me. Okay, here we go. Goten and Trunks taking a super. And, oh no, wait, is that Majin Vegeta? Oh, that was Majin Vegeta, okay. <laughs> That's my bad. That's my bad. Um, let's pop an Aider here, and I think that's gonna do it, guys. Um, I would like to make it to another, you know, LR Goten and Trunks rotation, but I don't think it's gonna happen unless he decides to dodge a bunch of our supers, which he might do. If you guys are hearing some tippity tappity in the background, it's my dog jumping around because <laughs> my mom just came home. So, uh, don't mind him, don't mind him, and yeah, that's gonna do it, guys. I mean, if anybody's gonna finish it off that's not the main unit, that's not the LR Goten and Trunks, I would, I would prefer it to be in Tomato Vegeta. So there you go, that is the showcase, guys. That is the Extremes Awakened LR Goten and Trunks. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about them. One thing that I will say is... We didn't see as much of their defensive abilities as um, I would have liked to show in this video because that's something I really wanted to focus on, but the, the situation just didn't really, you know, it wasn't great for that, so that's my bad, but um, trust me, trust me, they are good defensively in the second or third slot, right? They are really tanky as a second or third slot unit. First slot, not so much, but after they super, they get a lot of defense, and as you saw, the uh, offense is definitely there. The damage is definitely there. So, I'm a big fan of the CZA. Once again, let me know in the comments what you guys think about it, and uh, that's gonna do it for today's video. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.